Hello friends and welcome back! Today we are starting an all new series, playing through the original Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. Now I ran a poll and 39% of you voted to play this game over Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, which had a close second of 31%. But fear not fans of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, I do intend to make a series of that game sometime in the future, so if you need an outlet to make fun of someone making a fool of himself playing a game for the first time, it's coming soon, I promise. Now, I have never played this game in my life. All this music, all of this is new to me. It sounds really good, but I'm excited. Let's start with the top, Forest Frontiers. The objective is to have 250 guests in the park by the end of year one. That seems super easy. Is this a paper entry park? Ah, it looks like it is. Okay. Let's set this to something respectable to start with. Let's see, what do we have to work with here? Aha! Oh, this is cute. Small little space. All right, let's see what we have to work with here. I am playing Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 in Open RCT 2, which is the modded version of the game that puts the two installations together. Oh, is he going to turn away? Oh, he came in. There's no rides yet. He actually came in. I think I want to keep the... Oh, look at these interesting paths we have. That's not in the vanilla game of Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. I wonder if that's vanilla in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. Let's extend this out a little bit. And maybe close the loop here. Sorry, trees. It had to be like that. And we have a little tiny spot right there. Maybe we could stick stalls there. All right. So now we have a loop. Let's put some flat rides in. As far as I understand, this game is pretty much everything. The mechanics of this game is pretty much the same as Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Because Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, all it really is, is a expansion of the original game with new features added. An expansion, not an expansion, it's like, I, I don't know how to say that. It's basically the same game, just improved, new features added. That's my understanding at least. As I said, I've never actually played it, so I can't say for certain. Let's bring the soul of the game into our park, the merry-go-round. I'm wasting a little bit of space, but the, the scenario looks so easy, I don't think I need to it is a small park, but I really don't think I need all of it. So I'm just going to be playful here. And, oh, look, blue is the default in this game. That's cool. Let's alternate colors, just for the heck of it. And I don't know if there's a different playlist of merry-go-round music for RCT1. We'll find out soon enough. We'll have one more ride smack dab in the middle here. Let's have the entrance on the back side this time. Alright, so let's talk about this series. I plan to play through all of the scenarios in the original vanilla Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. I do own the expansions become, uh, because it came with the Roller Coaster Tycoon Deluxe bundle that I bought from Steam. I don't know if I will play those, just like I have not played the expansions of Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 yet. I'd love to do them eventually, and make maybe make a series out of them, but... I don't know if y'all are patient enough to let me do that before I start doing Roller, doing Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 content. So, I could actually alternate doing Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 videos and Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 videos. So enough of you are fans of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 and want, me, want to see me do that, feel free to tell me in the comments. If enough of you vote for that, then we will definitely do that. And you can all laugh at my expense as I make a grand fool of myself playing the game for the first time ever. <laughs> oh! I was wondering why these bathrooms look different. I've, I've seen this uh, this look for... Oh, whoops. I've seen that look for the bathrooms in the multiplayer servers for OpenRCT2, but I thought it was like one of the expansions to Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. I didn't realize it was part of Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. So, neat. Let's get a drink stall. Maybe knock out that poor unfortunate tree. Bop this up to... Oh, snap, not $15. $150. There we go. Normally, I charge exorbitant amounts for my food and drinks, but this is a beginner scenario. We're just going to have fun. So I don't want to be too crazy here. Let's see. We have... Oh, there's no interest rate. Wow. That's cool. I guess I can take out as much money as I want, and there's no penalty. Oh, no, there is. There is. I paid $8. It just doesn't say what my interest is anywhere. I could probably do some math to figure that out. That's a 
what is that, 0.08%? <laughs> or no, that's for the month. I always get interest confused because it's charged, the rate is determined by the year, but then they charge it monthly, so they divide it by 12 or something. I don't know, it's confusing. And look at this new look for the roller coasters. Are these all of the vanilla roller coaster builds for Roller Coaster Tycoon 1? Oh, I like these. As I said, I have... Wait, what are these names? You something something. I have never I have never played this version of Roller Coaster Tycoon. I've only ever played Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. And the expansions of Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 were a newer thing for me. Because I bought them only a few years ago. So all of these new roller coasters, all of this is new to me, as I said. What water rides do we have? Oh, pfft. <laughs> we have a boat hire. And we don't even have water. Why can't we have water? <laughs> can I expand my park at all? Oh, I can. Look at that. Well, I'll probably win long before I get a chance. Anyway, let's expand. I think I want to... So we have our central hub right here with our nice concrete paved paths. Let's, uh, let's make kind of a trail that branches off here. A little more random in its shape. Yeah, I like that. And let's bring this around and reconnect it to our concrete path through those trees. Boom. And now we have a loop around the park. I'll probably... Oh, that looks like a strange dinosaur creature thing. There's his eye. He looks like he's biting the park. <laughs> I don't know why I see weird patterns like that and stuff. I, I see the weirdest shapes and everything. Anyway, let's build a roller coaster. And where should I put it? Let's tuck it back here. Give people a reason to walk through this, this uh, part of the park. And again, this little blue arrow thing is a feature of open RCT2 that is not in the vanilla game. Let's put some brakes right here. Loop this around. More brakes. My entrance fee is too high. What? It looks like I'm losing guests. I don't have enough rides to justify that high price. All right. Nothing too big, nothing too fancy. We're just getting started here. I think 45 feet is the minimum height to get the uh, optimal. Hold on. What's the height mark? How high is the ground? Oh, it's negative 5 feet. Okay, that makes sense. Because normally when I see this steep piece at 15, that tells me that I can slope to level like this and be at zero. But look, I am at zero. It's just above ground. <laughs> That's fun. Let's... uh. Are helixes not part of this? Oh, okay. That's new to me. Okay. Can I roll this? Oh, I can't. Okay, so I hear already here's a discrepancy between Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2 is it appears Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 does not have access to helixes or banked hills. So that's very interesting. Looks like I can't do that. So I have to be a little more careful with my heels here and not make any crazy excessive g-forces. And I ran out of money. Okay, let's take some more money. Oh, it's about to rain. Do I have a kiosk? I don't have umbrellas. That appears to either be not be unlocked yet or not part of the game yet. <laughs> so if we're going back in time, let's go up to maximum funding. I want to unlock all the rides I can. Oh, we're going to get a Ferris wheel soon. That's fun. Fortunately for me, I can slope to level and uh, curve my turn like that. Can I... Let's see, how hard how hard do I have to go to do this? Oh, that looks perfect. Okay. Let's put some brakes on here. 18 miles per hour. And that completes our circuit. Very nice. 
Lovely. Okay, how fast can I make this go? Five. Okay, that is a little different from the roller, the wooden roller coaster and roller coaster tycoon two. Oh, but look at these trains though. I like that. That little detail. I love that. That's not in roller coaster tycoon two. Okay. Another thing that is not in the vanilla game is the ability to fast forward everything. So I just did that and ruined the testing process. Let's actually watch this one so we can see what it's doing. And it sounds like my merry-go-round broke down. So let me hire a mechanic and hire a handyman and we'll sort those guys out later. Okay, well that looks good. We got some decent stats. Sadly, excitement didn't pass six, but yeah, that's fine. Open for business. And with that, I think I can charge more for the entrance. Let's bump this back up to 20. I think as a rule of thumb, you can... Oh, I've only made $90 from admissions. <laughs> looks like I'm turning everyone away. No one's willing to pay. Oh, that guy paid. I wonder how long I've been... People have been turning their back at the entrance because I was overcharging and I didn't realize it. That's funny. Where is my mechanic? Oh, he's in the ride. Okay. Oh, and we have our Ferris wheel. Lovely. Let's put that over here. There we go. I don't want I don't want this path turning into the exit. I want to turn into the main path. All right. Now we have a Ferris wheel. And what are we researching? Yeah, all these things. I'm, I'm treating this game like Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. There's a lot of things. It's basically the same game, so it's really easy for me to pick up how to do this and find little discrepancies like the like the classic wooden roller coaster versus the regular wooden roller coaster in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. In Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, I would be completely clueless and everything would be new to me, so I guess I better enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> all right. One, two, three, four. Is this basically like the junior roller coaster? Oh no, I get steep pieces. Okay. So this is a roller coaster that I don't think is in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, is it? Yeah, it isn't. I get this steep drop. Huh. That's fun. Uh, okay, that's as tall as I can go, is 60 feet. Let's not go that tall, because we really don't need to. Let's go to the 40 feet. That should be fine. What the? I can slip straight to level? Can the classic wooden roller coaster do that? I'm curious. I gotta know if I can do that. No, it can't. Okay. Well, that must be unique to this roller coaster. That's cool. That opens a whole new, a whole host of things we can do with this. Okay, from 40 to 30, that should be that should uh, work just fine. Uh oh. And this. Oh, this has helixes. Okay, so it's not that helixes weren't added to the game yet, it's just that they weren't available on the wooden roller coaster. That's interesting. My park entrance is too high. Are you kidding me? Okay. Actually, let me see. How much money do people come to the park with? Oh, well, he had 80 bucks. Never mind. What's wrong with pirate ship? Why is it... Oh, okay. That was odd. It must have broken down and just been fixed. Oh yeah, there's the mechanic. Alright. Anyway. Let's helix the rest of the way down right here. Level out. And S-Bend. No, I don't need to S-Bend. Okay. Leave that flat. I don't think I get photo sections, 
I do get boosters, which is cool. And as we know, boosters are not part of the vanilla game. That was added in OpenRCT2. Let's add some brakes on here. Actually, I should probably start the brakes here. So, no, not booster. Brakes to 18. And then finally to 13 over here. There we go. Lovely. Oh, hold on. I gotta turn the lift speed up. There we go. Let's be a little different. Let's try green. Oh, that's like a neon green. That's fun. And roller Coaster Tycoon 2. It's more of a muted green color. I made that way longer than the wooden roller coaster. <laughs> Silly me. What are these guys' ride preference? More than four? What about this guy? Less than three. Oh, okay, so we have a variety of, pe of preferences for our guests. That's good to see. Oh, hold on. Oh, I get it now. I just remembered. This is something I heard about Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, is that you can have an entrance fee for the park and ride uh, fees. That's why people aren't paying as much. Okay. So for this new ride, let us I don't know if that splits how much they're willing to pay because they already paid at the gate if they're going to spend less at the entrance. We'll have to experiment. I have no idea. <laughs> let's try $8 for the Woody. Oh no, that's the Mini. Whoops. Let's try $4 on the Mini and $8 on the, on the Woody. Unless, what are these stats? Oh yeah, they're all medium. Never mind. Well, slightly intense. <laughs> Look how derpy these are. <laughs> so I guess this is the precursor to the Junior Roller Coaster in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. And the Junior Roller Coaster doesn't have access to these steep drops. So that's interesting. Very fun. Well, we're getting guests. Let's advertise our young budding park here. So now we have two ad campaigns going. And what are people thinking about this ride? I'm not paying that much, he says. Okay, let's drop this to four. All of you OG Roller Coaster ty uh, Tycoon 1 fans are probably screaming at me in the comments like, No, you're doing it all wrong. They'll never pay that. Let's bring this back to $2. What are people saying about this? Yeah, too expensive, as I thought. But he just got in line now that I cut the price. These are all at default prices, and no one is going to pay for it. What the heck? Okay, we'll turn that down. I know it's a beginner park, but I'm kind of confused now. What about this one? No comments on the twist. What about the merry-go-round? I'm not paying that much to go... Uh, what the heck? Okay, 50 cents. How about that? Two quarters. Unless you're in the UK or something. Uh, two quarters, that's US currency. Uh, two coins. Uh, 50... Uh, whatever. <laughs> Let's connect our path. Let's be different and make this green. Oops. All right, so here's our little park so far. We are about halfway through year one and we only have 94 guests, so we do have a lot of people coming in though. We have made $880 from in uh, admissions. Oh, <laughs> there goes the merry-go-round. Can I charge more here? How much can I get away with? Okay, they're paying six, let's try seven. I do have two roller coasters now, so. Oh, that person just turned away. Oh no, he's leaving. Never mind. Okay, 10 seems to be good. Let's try 15. 15 works. Let's try 20. Ah, my favorite Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 song. Wonderful. Tycoon 2. Roller Coaster Tycoon. What am I saying? My favorite merry-go-round song. Oh, 
Okay, so $20 seems to work. And our income is almost doubled. Or, uh, not doubled, increased by 50%. We made 50% of what we made before, almost. Oh, wait, no, it was like 900. I was thinking it was uh, 600. I, I need to get my memory checked. <laughs> okay. Come on in, folks. Let's try 25. Will you pay 25? The Pelly 25. What about 30? Okay, that seems to be good. Do we have any new rides? It doesn't appear. Oh no, we do. We have a log flume. And some funky pre builds. I wonder how many of these came from the expansions to Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. Look at those ratings, though. That's impressive. Let's build a log flume, because log flumes are super powerful. Money generators. No one is riding the wooden roller coaster. Hold on. I was afraid of that. Okay, let's go back down to $2. Will you pay $2 to ride the woody? Come on, people, please! Okay, he's not, but that's because he's scared, not because it's too expensive. Okay, much better. So now someone's willing to ride it, and while they're sorting that out, let's build this log flume. Love that. It's the best. Oh, we get a photo section. Cool. We don't get it on the Woody. That's too bad. Anyway. Okay, I should have known that wouldn't work. Now for a second drop. All right. And now, what? how many boats do we get? Nine. Let's go up to the maximum of 17. And we'll turn this way down. I wonder what kind of entrances we have access to. Okay, we have access to all the entrances we had in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, but I don't know if that's because the vanilla game gives me access to them, or because this is open RCT2. Regardless, let's build our paths for this. Oh nice, we have an information kiosk now. Let's plop that down over by the entrance, right there, and crank up the umbrella price to 20 as per usual, and the maps to 120. Okay, so this is making money. Not a whole lot. Okay, we have more than half of the required guests for this scenario, so that's good. Are people still paying? All right, they're still paying the entry, the entry fee. And it looks like I need to increase the wait time on these boats. So let's go, let's change that to five seconds. Let's speed things along and see what test results we get. Eh, not bad. Not fabulous, but not bad. Let's open that for business. And I think we need, whoops, we need more handymen and maybe two more mechanics. And I'm just going to leave this at the default because I don't know how much I can charge. But I will turn the uh, park, uh, not the park, the uh, photo price up. Yeah, so that's a whole new monster I've never dealt with, is having, being able to pay at the gate and per ride. So it seems they are uh, not as willing to pay for rides because they're already paying at the gate. And they're not willing to pay as much at the gate because they're paying for rides. So I gotta, I gotta figure out what that balance is, what the formula is for that. Because that's new to me. 
But for now, let's uh, turn our loan down a little bit. We are making a, a meager profit here. I don't think we have ice cream. One thirty for ice cream. Can I paint this? Ha <laughs> ha! I can paint it. <laughs> Orange cream. That's funny. Oh no! It's the outside of it. I was laughing about this in Roller Coaster Tycoon Two, but I wasn't actually looking at the stall when I tried to paint it. Maybe you all were laughing at me. I don't know. I'm not sure if this. I'm not sure if this uh, is the same in Roller Coaster Tycoon Two, where the ice cream stand was. <clears throat> anyway, let's put some scenery around our log flume. Oh, I have a very limited, uh, a very limited selection of scenery. Lots of flowers, though. That's nice. Weeping willow tree. No, I don't want that. Let's try. Can we have oak trees? Maybe a handful of those. And now, let's get some conifer trees. Is that right, conifer? Evergreen trees? And some shrubs? Nah, let's not do shrubs. Let's put some flower beds around our merry-go-round. We can paint these. Let's go purple and yellow. Oh no, let's go red and yellow. Oh, that matches the merry-go-round. I didn't even, I wasn't even, I wasn't even paying attention to that. That was all by accident. And we'll put little gates around it, as we always do, because we don't want to see the dirt on the side. And, uh, <laughs> no, no one trip on your way off the merry-go-round. You might impale yourself on these pokey little fences. Oh look, we won! We have 250 guests. Lovely! I have a feeling this scenario is supposed to be extremely easy, if you know what the heck you're doing. And since I don't, and I'm just clueless, I kind of was doing everything the hard way. So if I ever come, if I ever play through this again in the future, I'll probably make a fool of my former self for how easy it is. Now, isn't that cute? Do we have some smaller flowers? Oh, we do! Look at that! Let's make the little pink flowers. Marshall Foss says this is like his favorite way to play, is just decorating your little rides like this. I think that's what he said. And I enjoy it too! You take a... Uh, you make your area as aesthetic and as pretty as possible, like this even if it's not exactly profitable, but hey, you don't play the game to make profit, you play the game to have fun. Because, you know, the profit isn't real. <laughs> I like this! That's lovely. Let's peek at our entrance over here. They're still paying. Oh, why is this guy sad? You won't be sad for long, my friend. You are in the happiest place on Earth. Let's change the colors a little bit. Let's make these red. We'll make the track green. Uh, not that shade. And little wooden stems. Okay, that's that's a little muted. Let's try something. Aha! There we go. Now we can see it. And I think I'm going to leave this color scheme, because that's all new to me. Although I will build some supports for it. Just to flesh it out. Maybe by doing this, I can bump up the excitement to 6. Since I failed to get to 6. This is something I didn't know how to do as a kid, was holding shift down, and, uh, shift, I think I just said a bad word, <laughs> I'll have to beat that out, was holding shift down and dragging to make this, uh, yeah, to do what I'm doing here. Let's do it on the inside. Uh-oh. I can't do it there because, uh, the track's there. Okay. So that's good for now. Did I change the stats? Nah, it's not there. 
Anyway, all we have left is a few months and then the scenario is over. So let's populate the park with a little bit more stuff. We don't have a spiral slide, so let's plop that down somewhere. Let's go for yellow. And open. Oh, it's already open. I think people aren't going to pay that, so let's turn that down to a dollar. Nope. How about 50 cents? <laughs> I don't know if people are going to pay for it. There we go. Now people are paying for it. Come on down, my friends. And let's uh, get more people onto the ride. Wonderful. And we have a, a looping roller coaster I saw with a... Uh, holy moly, that is a lot of... <laughs> wow. I don't know where most of these come from. Are these all from the expansions? And that's why they all have this funky name on them. I'm going to guess that these are the original... Oh, some of these are from Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, like Fizzly? I remember Fizzly. Oh, there's two Fizzlies. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea. This is all new. Regardless, let's build ourselves a roller coaster. Let's turn off this funky log cabin. I don't even see what I'm doing. Oops. Okay, that's one train. Still one train. Still one train. All right. Looks like I have to bump this back a little bit. I always try to maximize the length of my trains, but I guess there really isn't a reason to do that unless they're paying per ride. But, so, well, eh, I guess this is a paper ride park in addition to a paper entrance park, so I will make the trains long. It also helps your trains get through inversions and get over hills. Do I get helixes in this park? Oh, good. L wonderful. Not this park. This uh, scenario. Not scenario. What am I saying? Uh, this version of the game. Oh, I don't get banked turns. Okay. Interesting. I'm going to assume that this is part of Open RCT2, because this isn't even in the vanilla game of RCT2. Open RCT2, I mean. And that's it. I'm out of money. Boop. And with this, let's wrap it up with some brakes. Down to 13 miles per hour. It looks like I get a photo section that I never used. I wonder if I could sneak that in somewhere. Yeah, I bet I could. Let's put that over here before the loop. Yes, we got to go straight here. Oh, I still don't have room for it. Okay, we'll do it like that, and it will go here. Bop. Wonderful. And it looks like I only get one train. Unless I do this. Aha! Two trains. Wonderful. And as always, I forgot to put the station in. Okay, I don't want to bust the tree, so let's go around it. Lovely. Have any of you seen my new Minecraft video? It's the one... Oh, my grass just grew before our eyes. The new Minecraft video that has the, uh... The, uh, where the thumbnail has the really cool artwork. Let me know in the comments, because that video was doing really terribly in the first few hours since I uploaded it. So I was kind of sad, kind of disappointed. I went to the gym, worked super hard, maybe taking out my frustration on the on the barbell. <laughs> and then I came home, and the video had exploded to like 200 views in just like an hour. So I was like, oh wow. But the average watch duration is less than two minutes. So it looks like maybe I had some positive interaction. So YouTube decided to push it out as an experiment. So I had a lot of, a lot of uh, impressions, a lot of exposure with the video, and not a lot of people stuck. 
so I'm not sure if that's YouTube experimenting with my content. But for any of you who have seen it, uh, let me know what you think. Um, I put an obscene amount of effort into those videos, like, these roller coaster taken videos, uh, they take effort. It's a lot of fun to do them, honestly, but mostly I just record, and then I skim through the recording, make sure I didn't cough or burp anywhere, and I cut that out, and then publish, because that's how this game is. It's not a lot of action, it's just, it's a simulation game. It doesn't take a lot of editing to polish it. But with Minecraft, you're telling a story, you're crafting a world, and <laughs> the source footage for that video was about six to seven hours worth of content that I had to go through. In addition to the third person cinematic shots I did, like when I was building the mob farm. So, so yeah, that's an obscene amount of work. Uh, I'd love to hear your feedback, see if that's any good. And I'd also love to hear if seeing those pop up in your recommendations is bothersome to you, because I think most of you subscribed for Roller Coaster Tycoon content, and now I'm pushing out all this Minecraft stuff. So does that bother you at all? Would you like me to start a second channel dedicated to Minecraft, or should I keep going as I'm going right now? Because I think it's easier to keep it all together like this, and it's a small channel, so I think, I think for now I'll stay as one channel, but if enough of you are bothered by it and would prefer that I have a separate channel, I'll, I'll think about it. No promises, but I'll think about it. Well, I have been thinking about it, but I'll think more about it, <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay. I think that goes there. Okay. Now let's put some more flowers in here. Maybe some blue flowers. Or no, let's do... Which of these can I paint? I know I can paint one of these. Ah, it's this one. Let's do yellow flowers. It is August. We are almost done. Oh, there's a tree here. Can I plant around the tree? I cannot, so let's put a little gate around it. Very nice. Now I'll put gates around these flower beds. Did I miss a spot? Oh yeah, I missed a few spots. Okay. So now those are done. Those little decorations. And no one is riding this. Am I charging too much? Let's change this to 60 cents. Any takers, please? Oh wow, I have 500 guests. I doubled it. You know, I probably could have quadrupled it if I knew what the heck I was doing here. Because <laughs> I only ran one set of advertisements. Let's advertise our new log flume. And as soon as I get a little more cash, I'll advertise the, uh, I'll advertise the park. Will people pay $40 at the gate? Oh, look at that, they will. Lovely. Oh, and people on the twist ride, I wasn't paying attention. That's good. Okay, a few more guests, and boom! Advertise the park. So we have September and then October, so we have two more months, and we will have succeeded in beating the scenario. So let's see, do we have any more flat rides I've missed? We don't have a haunted house. Let's build a haunted house. Where's the front of it? Ah, that's the front. Okay. I want the front to face the path. Let's put that over here, actually. I want it in the trees, kind of in the corner where it's more spookier. More spookier! That is incorrect grammar, and I'm a fan. <laughs> let's test it. Make sure the... Shrieking goblins don't hurt themselves. And once again, I don't want it to do that. There we go. Wonderful. And I suspect people are not going to pay. Yep, they're not going to pay for that. I have to turn it down. It's little things like that that would have totally thrown me off as a kid playing this. There were similar problems with the original vanilla Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 that threw me off as a kid, but they didn't make the game unplayable, so I managed to uh, accidentally win. 
I never actually knew as a kid that there were actually objectives I had to meet to win. I just dinked around and played because, oh, roller coaster park, fun. And then after four years, we'll go, oh, look, I won. Why is everyone clapping? How did that happen? Um, but anyway, I probably would have figured it out after a little while. Oh, I forgot. There's a few more spots here I need to fill out. So let's see. I put that there. Let's get some yellow flares. Oh, did I paint these for nothing? We had <laughs> we had yellow flowers already. Heh <laughs> heh. Silly me. Wonderful. Isn't that adorable? Let's do another theme over here. Let's go with these super bright colored flowers. And I can't place them where the ship is swinging, but I can put them there. Let's just actually fill the whole thing. Let's not do the sub beds like we did over there. Just to be a little different. Take out that hedge. And maybe a different style of gates. Just to keep it different. I can't see through my trees. So I hope I'm doing this correctly. All right, I think this is good. There we go. All right, that's everything covered up. Wonderful. Oh, wrong button. So here's our super photogenic spot and then just barren. <laughs> I have I have a month and a half to decorate everything else. Ooh, we have a maze. Let's build a maze. Is, are these the same stock mazes from Roller Coaster Tycoon 2? Okay, they are, by the looks of it. But I don't have scenery for everything. So let's build our own maze. Let's uh, plop it down right over here. I'm not going to bother with a queue line. I'm going to build this right up against the path. And that's because the pathfinding algorithm for guests is dismal. It is terrible. Heh heh heh. Just walk in and walk out if you go the right direction. But if you go the wrong direction, you go on a wild goose chase. Ho ho ho. Dead end. I don't want to have too many dead ends or else this will be impossible to finish. Because guests are terrible at mazes. Okay, that's a dead end. Let's actually loop that right here. And break right there, just as a quick, easy way out if people get in trouble. Wonderful! Let's open that and drop this down to an affordable price. People will actually pay. And uh, no limit to the number of people. Well, technically there's a limit, but it's never going to fill up. And flower time... Let's do some more uh, flowers that have a flower bed already. Let's go red and white. Okay, I can't do that because there's a roller coaster in the way, darn it. Should have thought that through. I could put little walls up around it. No, I don't want to do that. Let's do something else. Nah, I'm just going to leave that. Let's plant some trees. Some evergreen trees. Just scatter them everywhere. Wow, we are making a lot of money. It looks like I can pay off my loan, probably before the scenario is, is over. Did I finish my ad campaigns? Ah, uh, looks like I did. So let's restart those just to help me pay off my loan. I think I will have to take out a little bit just so I can start this, though. Let's advertise the looper. I don't think we've advertised that yet. Yeah, there's, like, no one coming. Probably because I reached the soft cap because I don't have a lot of rides. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. What a lovely park. One of the cool things about being restricted in your workspace, having a border helps you to really have a... Uh, it helps you see the big picture of your park and place things 
in locations where they're pleasant to look at. If, you, if your canvas is too big, it's possible to make something good. It's just, uh, you have to think a little harder when you do it. Let's make a cute little observation tower. Make this 200 feet tall. There we go. 200 feet. It says 195, but I'm saying 200 relative to the ground, which is at negative 5. Do I get a double-decker? Oh, that's too bad. Okay, we'll test that. And uh, close that. Oops. There we go. Actually, I don't like that. Let's make this green. No, I did the same thing twice. Darn it. I don't like green either. Let's do yellow. I can't make up my mind. Pay our loan down while I'm paying attention to it. Oh, it's October. We are almost done. Let's see. That's a fountain. I guess we could actually put fountains in here. If we delete these, put a fountain there, and one more over here. Same deal. Let's, uh, I can't see what I'm doing. If I could pay someone one dollar to pull up a flower bed, that would be incredible. All right, and now let's get some hedges. Oh, it's a duck. That's funny. Maybe some small flowers, like these ones. What other funky hedges do I have to work with? Oh, squirrels! Ha, <laughs> that's cute. I've never actually used these much. We have a little squirrel and pink flowers. That's, I think that's like this, that's a similar color to the magnolia tree. Ooh, a suspended swinging coaster? Fun. I don't think I have time to build it, though because the scenario is almost done. I think I've built every flat ride except for this one. Let's build custom... To, never mind, we don't have room for it. Unless we buy land, but I don't want to buy land. I'm too lazy. What I want to do is pay back my loan, and no one's going to ride this. Hold on. Oh, someone is. Never mind. <laughs> I guess it's good enough to pay for it. This is... Is anything not being paid for? The merry-go-round one has... Oh, someone's in line. Why is he... Why is there... Is he going to turn around as soon as it's a... Uh... Oh, it's stuck running. Why is it stuck running? You know, sorry, buddy, but that's fine. <laughs> we'll just leave him there. Our ad campaign just wrapped up. The scenario is, uh, okay, we have less than half a month left. I have 3,000 uh, more dollars to pay off to pay off my loan. I don't have to pay it off. I'm just trying to as a personal challenge. If I don't, that's fine, but we're going for it. All right, it looks like we've built pretty much everything, so let's just decorate. Let's get some deciduous trees, like some some uh, birch trees. I noticed that if you just randomly place them everywhere, you can try to make it look organic, but it doesn't quite look good. It, what looks good is more like random splotches of trees. So it's like over here we have birch trees, over here we have oak trees. So you still place them pretty much kind of randomly, but the randomness is grouped, if that makes sense. And that seems to have a good look. Let's go walnut trees and put those over here. This is Metsy. And I just realized I never placed benches anywhere. Silly me. I apologize, guests. You need places to sit your weary legs down. I apologize. Here we go. Let's build these all over the park. Especially by the exits of intense rides, so people don't vomit everywhere. 
Lovely. And I don't have garbage cans anywhere either. Yeah, there's litter right here. Okay, this is looking a lot better. It looks like we only have one type of bench. Okay, we have five days left of the scenario. We are almost done. With 782 guests. So we have squashed the scenario, but all of you veterans of this game are probably laughing, going, Heh, I play this and get 2,000 guests by the end of the scenario. You're right, I'm a noob. This is my first time playing this, and it's a lot of fun, I have to be honest. I mean, it is basically the same game as Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, but... It's still awesome. Chris Sawyer is a literal genius. The fact that he programmed this game almost entirely single-handedly is incredible. So I'm a big fan. I don't think people are going to get sick on the haunted house, but I'm going to put benches there anyway. Because why not? A shame we only have one kind of garbage can, the, the ugly kind. Let's place lamps around. So we have these lamps. Okay, let's try to maintain the spacing we have with the entrance here. Oh, never mind. They're not even consistent. We'll have these fancy lamps by the uh, and the paved area. And then we'll use these... Uh, what do you call these? Like oil lamps? We'll, we'll use those lamps out in the forest. Okay. Oh, look. The game is over. It's the 31st. Let's see how many of these I can place. Oh, too bad. <laughs> well, that was fun. We did it. With a company value of... Oh, not bad. I like that. Cat's out of the bag. You people know my name. All right. Well, that was fun. I like this. Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. And there it is. And what a lovely park we built. As always, thank you so much for watching. This has been a great time. If you enjoy content like this, be sure to subscribe so you see when the next video comes out. This is an all new series, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 Veteran, playing Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 for the first time. So have a great rest of your day and goodbye.